Imagine never having to copy paste into ChatGPT because your browser itself is ChatGPT. That's the idea behind ChatGPT Atlas, OpenAI's new web browser with ChatGPT built in. It just launched and is currently exclusive to Mac users. Windows, iOS, and Android's versions are coming soon. The good news is it's available to everyone with a ChatGPT account, even free users. You should note, Atlas requires an Apple Silicon Mac running macOS 12 Monterey or later. In this tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to download and install ChatGPT Atlas on your Mac and get you up and running with this AI powered browser. First, we need to navigate to the ChatGPT Atlas website and download the installer. You can click the link in the description and it's going to bring you to this page. You can see it has instructions for you. Then we can hit download for Mac OS. Hit allow and that is going to download. Then we can go to our downloads folder and double click the DMG. Then we're gonna drag it to our applications folder and then we can exit out of here and right click on the installer and eject. Then we're gonna go to our downloads folder and find and double click ChatGPT Atlas. Hit open. And now we're going to log in with our ChatGPT account. After you log in, Atlas will ask if you want to import bookmarks, save passwords, and history from another browser, Chrome or Safari. This step is optional. If you want to bring your stuff over for a seamless switch, click Start Import and follow the prompts. If you prefer a clean slate or will do it later, click Skip. You can always import data later via the Atlas menu. It won't affect your original browser. So I'm going to click Skip. Next, Atlas will ask you if you want to turn on browser memories for smarter responses. This feature lets ChatGPT remember context from the sites you visit, like what pages you viewed, to give you more personalized help. If you're okay with that, click turn on. If you prefer not to share browsing info, click skip. You can change the setting anytime in Atlas's preferences, so don't stress too much. You're always in control of what ChatGPT can see and remember. Next, Atlas gives you a quick intro to one of its coolest features, the ChatGPT sidebar. You can open it on any website to get instant summaries, explanations, or help with tasks right beside what you're viewing. It's like having ChatGPT riding shotgun while you browse. And Atlas isn't just for reading, it helps you write too. It basically turns your cursor into a collaborator. If you're drafting an email, writing a review, or filling out a form and get stuck, just highlight your text and click the GPT logo. Then ChatGPT will suggest improvements or even complete the sentence for you. It's like having a friendly co-writer built right into your browser. Final step default browser. If you make Atlas your default now, you'll unlock a 7-day boost to ChatGPT limits, more messages, bigger file uploads, data analysis, and image generation. And if you don't want to make it your default, you can just click skip. You can change it later in settings, general, and set to default. Then you'll be all set and you can click done. And here is the browser. And once you're here, you're pretty much all good to go. You now have ChatGPT Atlas up and running on your Mac. If you have any questions about getting anything set up, leave it in the comments and I'll try to make a video on it. And yeah, you know, remember this isn't just another browser, it's a browser with an AI assistant built in. You can use natural language to control Atlas. For instance, say, find my old recipe page from yesterday and ChatGPT can search your browsing history to help you out. If you're a ChatGPT Plus slash Pro subscriber, you also get access to the experimental agent mode in Atlas. This lets ChatGPT take actions in the browser for you like automatically booking a flight or filling out forms which is kind of crazy for now atlas is mac only but OpenAI has windows and mobile versions on the way so go ahead and give it a try let me know in the comments what you think of it compared to your usual browser i use both safari and chrome regularly so i'm curious how this is going to hold up compared to them and if you found this tutorial helpful give it a like if you're interested in more tutorials on how to get games running on mac and just general tutorials on mac subscribe and that's about it see ya